Hello everyone, welcome in this new video about how to live to Morocco and how first to move to Morocco. Okay, I hope you're all doing well, okay, with this uh, new uh, climate changing, with the fall is coming, so in Morocco as well, fall is coming, so today it's raining, but anyway, we're happy because we are in Morocco. Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you the five steps you need to know before moving to Morocco. So those five steps are the steps that I uh, used myself, okay, to start my life in Morocco. So the first step that you need to know before even moving to Morocco, before starting your uh, plan about moving to Morocco is you have to set guys a goal. You have to set a goal in your mind before moving to Morocco, which means you guys have to know why do you want to move to Morocco? Do you want to live to Morocco because uh, you haven't got any vacation, any holiday for like two years? Uh, maybe uh, you want to live in a country where the, it's very sunny, etc., etc. So you have to set a goal and the goal you're setting in your mind must be clear. Okay? So, for example, my goal before moving to Morocco was I wanted to change the lifestyle I had. I had... Uh, an occidental lifestyle I wanted to change I wanted, I wanted to change the country that was it and even if it it would be hard to do it I knew I wanted to do it anyway so you have to set a clear goal in your mind before even doing anything else just know your why why are you planning to move to Morocco that's the first step okay second step when you, you have a goal clearly identified, you have to think about the administration uh, part uh, when you come to Morocco. Which means, are you coming as a foreigner? Are you coming as a Moroccan citizen? Are you coming as an expat? Etc. 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 You have to know that. Because regarding your situation, you'll have um, many process to follow which means uh, fill out some forms, the forms are in French, what kind of forms, what kind of visa, what kind of permit, is it for work, is it for life, is it for... Anyway, you have to know uh, what is your situation. Do you plan to get the Moroccan citizenship? Maybe you have one of your parents who is Moroccan, that was my case. I came as a foreigner, as a French expat, but in six months I, uh, I got the Moroccan citizenship from my mom. So all the stuff, guys, you have to think about those stuff to, uh, to win time, to not lose any time in the process of moving to Morocco. Okay, that's the second step. The third step you have to know is when you'll be in Morocco, what will be your income? Where will you get your income from? From your business that you're going to create? from uh, from your home job uh, maybe i don't know you're gonna work uh, online being in morocco but you still will get your salary i don't know maybe uh, you're gonna quit your job uh, at home and then you'll seek for a job in morocco etc etc you have to think about that and find out what will be your income when you'll be in morocco okay that's the third step fourth step is where do you want to live in Morocco? Morocco is huge. You have traditional, you have modern, you have in-between, you have small towns, etc. You have, you have uh, Sarah, um, the desert. You, so it's up to you guys. Do you want to live uh, in the middle of the sand with the nomad people? Do you want to live in a big city? Do you want to live in a village, etc., etc.? You guys have to know. So... Um, know the know the city you want to live in okay and then the last step is how do you plan to get a place what how do you plan to get an apartment when you'll come to morocco how do you plan to do it do you plan to seek for a place being now from home like sending mails do you know someone do you know a friend do you know some family you're gonna live uh with so you have to figure out all that stuff Okay, you have to think about that. How do you, how, what will be your house? It's going to be your bedroom. Are you going to look for a roommate? Uh, in which city? 
uh, what will be the rent? Do you have any savings to pay the rent, etc., etc., etc. Okay, guys. So those are the major five steps. Set a goal, a clear goal, and for the goal, I'm giving you a very important tip. Okay, do not set a short-term goal. It must be a long-term goal. Because, for example, if you just want to go to Morocco just to have the sun, no, because being being uh, being in Morocco. It's not about the, it's sunny. It's not about the weather. Who cares about the weather? Today it's rainy, tomorrow it's going to be sunny, etc. Et so you, you, you must look for a, a long-term goal being in Morocco, okay? Do not focus on short-term, always focus on long-term, okay? So that when you do that, uh, even if you're going to, if, if you're going to meet some barriers in Morocco, it's going to be okay. Why? Because you still have your goal who is set in your mind and you know why you're doing it and why you're moving in Morocco. Okay, guys? So long term and not short term. So a goal. The, administra the administration part, because in Morocco it's not easy, especially when you do everything by yourself. Where, we, where will you get your income from? What is the city you want to live in? And how do you plan to find the apartment where you're going to live in? Okay, guys? So that was the main major step. Again, if you need any more info, go on liveinmorocco.com. You get all the info. And, of course, leave me any comment, send me some messages, and I'll get back to you soon. See you guys.